Black Power. Last week we learned the city has plans to shut down Kamafi Park September 1st. In addition to the Vision Theater and the parking lot located directly behind the theater. And our concern is what is going to happen to our brothers and sisters who have taken refuge in the park and the parking lots um, behind the Vision Theater and, and other parking lots in Africa town because we know the city is basically forcing our people out of the area without uh, providing any type of permanent housing and it's not that we are against the development be it the Crenshaw Metro Rail or surrounding development that is taking place but we want to make sure we are included in that you know again this is where we grew up this is what we know as home and 2017 we as black people should not once again be forced out of our areas you know this is nothing but modern colonization and it's taking place in all the major cities so that is what we are looking at right now um, figuring out how we are going to secure ourselves and our brothers and sisters to stay in these areas one of our comrades uploaded a video on Saturday that showed the terrorists in form of the LA PD come into Kamathi Park with weapons drawn in response to an incident that had took place an incident that had been resolved before they arrived so comrades stood up in addition to others who were in the park at the time and we most definitely salute them salute all who supported that we salute all who are responding to the video in support but we most definitely question those of you who are condemning those actions still in um, the frame of mind of submitting to these acts of terrorism that are taking place against us um, you know, not standing against the genocide that is happening, not standing against the gentrification that is happening. You know, it is that insanity that allows this pattern to happen every 50 years. Um, 50 years ago, it's what the most honorable Ilhaz Malik Il Shabazz was organizing against, what the Black Panther Party for Self Defense was organizing against. We encourage all who have not yet seen the movie Detroit that was released on Friday to go see it. It captures the 1967 rebellion that took place in Detroit in response to very similar conditions that are happening now. And you figure 50 years before that, the right excellent Marcus Mosiah Garvey and the UNIA ACL were organizing against similar conditions. 50 years before that, is what our ancestors who were running away from being enslaved were organizing against in addition to the abolitionist movement so it's not that people who are tired of it frustrated with it and take a stand against it are incorrect but you look at any and all other people and that is what they do and that is how people claim their sovereignty that is how people protect their nationality protect their existence those of you who are um, suggesting we cower down, submit, and go along with it are actually foolish. And no point in history has doing what you suggest we do worked, been to our advantage. So most definitely salute to all the comrades. Um, you know, again, we are out um, pretty much everywhere we could be asking for your support. Again, asking y'all to stay out of Starbucks and all these other corporations that are predators in our community preying on us we're asking y'all to help us stand last week we pointed out a, a couple situations where it has worked out to our advantage the Quiznos on Slauson just west of La Brea is now being turned into a Jamaican restaurant also the Boost Mobile on, on Crenshaw right off of Stocker has finally hired a black employee and again these are minor victories but if more of you get involved in doing what needs to be done we can most definitely start taking more control of our communities 
and as radical as these attacks against us are it's going to take equally or even more so radical actions to counter what is happening so again we appreciate the prayers we appreciate the the fist as people drive by we appreciate you honking your horns but it's most definitely going to take y'all getting involved so whether you can make financial contributions or whether you can physically come stand with us move with us come to meetings and organize with us that is what is needed right now because we 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 refuse to be further displaced we refuse to be pushed up out of these communities we refuse to have any more of our people murdered without consequence and that is where it's going to take a united effort from all of you and those of you who have been um you know questioning who's who and what's what out here in la i just tell y'all you know keep paying attention because time is most definitely revealing what's really what so again you know thank to everyone who's been doing what you're doing and those of you who have not yet figured it out wake up come on and get involved all power to the people